In the summer after the 2020 election, Pillow Company CEO and conspiracy theorist Mike Lindell claimed he had hard, verifiable proof that not only was the election stolen, but that it was somehow China that stole it. And he claimed he had the computer data to back all that up. Mike Lindell was so confident in his claim that he dared anyone to look at this data and prove him wrong. He offered an incredibly specific and gigantic prize to anybody who could. A $5 million prize for anybody that can, that, that can prove the election data that, can, that I have from the 2020 election is false. $5 million will be all of these guys there, all the cyber guys, I don't care if it's media, they can dig into all this data. If they can prove that this is not valid data from the 2020 election, I put my money where my mouth is, I, and $5 million. Why don't you prove it there so then you can win $5 million? Not only was Mr. Lindell's data not proof of some Chinese hacking plot, it turns out it wasn't even 2020 election data. It was just random packets of code and IP addresses and strings of random numbers. So now Mr. Lindell has to pay $5 million. He has to put his money where his mouth is, as he put it. Turns out cyber forensic expert Robert Zeidman proved Mr. Lindell wrong. Zeidman won the contest. And now a panel from the American Arbitration Association has ordered Mr. Lindell to pay up. He has 30 days to cough up the $5 million. Now, Mike Lindell told NBC News that this ruling was a, quote, horrible, wrong decision and that it is all going to end up in court. Even if Mr. Lindell ends up on the hook here, it's unclear how much of a dent this is going to put in the pocketbook of someone who literally plasters my pillow ads on Fox Airwaves all day, every day. But it is notable because it is accountability. This is the first instance we are seeing of Mike Lindell finally actually facing accountability for his role in pushing the big lie. And it may not be the last time either. On Tuesday, Fox News settled their defamation case with the Dominion Voting Systems Corporation for a whopping $787.5 million. $787.5 million for their role in pushing the big lie. Now, that probably isn't a crushing amount of money for a corporation the size of Fox News, but I will bet you that number is daunting to someone like Mike Lindell. Because not only is Mr. Lindell also being sued for defamation by Dominion for $1.3 billion, he is also being sued for defamation by another voting tech company, Smartmatic, for an undisclosed but likely equally whoppingly large amount of money. For years now, a constellation of conservatives and conservative media outlets in this country have been at best deluded and at worst lying, but in either case, fomenting outrage about the results of the 2020 election. But it seems like accountability may be finally catching up to them. Must be hard to sleep at night. Hope Mr. Lindell has a great pillow.